Hey fishing friends, so today we're going to talk about a poorly discussed topic and that's fish scents. Now there's two main reasons why we would use a scent when we're talking about fishing lures. Number one is if we're slow trolling a bait across the bottom or maybe lower in the water and we want to bring fish in from farther away. Fish scents are great for this. They'll slowly release into the water and fish pick up the scent, track it back to your lure. It's great. But one of the most important reasons that we use a fish scent is to cover up a lot of the scents that we naturally add to the lures without realizing it. Did you use lotion on a cool windy day and then touch your lure? Now it tastes like Vaseline. Did you fill up gas on the way to the lake? Well, you wouldn't want to drink that and neither would your fish. So now you need to cover that up. A lure being plastic is naturally going to absorb all sorts of scents from everywhere. You want to make sure that it's something that the fish find appetizing and not something that gives you indigestion. So today we're going to make an inexpensive garlic based scent that you can take with you anywhere but won't break the bank and it's going to leave you happy. Let's go to the kitchen and find out. What's up guys and welcome to my kitchen. So before we get started, I have to have one disclaimer. If you're going to do this in a nice kitchen, you got to make sure that you clean up after yourself because this is going to stink your entire house. Now, fortunately, I'm doing garlic scent today, so it's just going to smell a lot like an Italian kitchen and that's okay. A couple of things to avoid, bait fish scent. Don't do it. It's disgusting. If you live with someone and you want to keep that situation the same, don't do anything crazy. We'll save that for a later date. So I have everything I need for my easy, simple garlic scent. Let's see what we need. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at the ingredients that we're going to need. First and foremost, we are going to need some garlic. This is already minced garlic, just stored in some oil. You could do this with the bulb itself, but it's almost the same price to get this already pre-minced for you. So all I have to do is pop this in the blender and it'll be good to go. Because we're going full flavor, we have some garlic powder. Uh, you could also use garlic salt if you wanted, but garlic powder is more concentrated in flavor. And you can see the next thing we're gonna do is add a whole heaping help of salt. This scent should be mostly salt with garlic scent, with garlic flavor to it. Don't worry so much if you're adding too much salt. If you think you're not adding enough salt, you probably are. So you want to make sure that you're adding enough salt so that the fish can track not only the flavors, but fish seem to grab onto salt the same way they track fish blood. And a lot of people think it has to do with the electrolytes in the salt that's similar to the electrolytes in blood. So this is really gonna be a salt scent with garlic addition. So lots of salt. I've got a big thing almost completely full and we're gonna use the whole thing. So hang on. The last step that I'm gonna do is something that a lot of people don't think of is adding some sort of gelling agent. So I've got a yellow colored, it happens to be lemon flavor, gelatin. When you add this, it's going to make your mixture cling together. So instead of just dissolving off into the water, it's going to stick to itself. Uh, you can do whatever color you want. If you want to do uh, yellow, so I did lemon flavor. If you want to do red or green, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to add a little bit of lemon jello. The sugar I'm sure won't hurt, but really I'm just doing it for the gelling agent. And the last thing I have are the bottles that we're going to use. I found these, they're called Cisterna bottles. They're from Target. They cost about $3 and they're easy, they're pretty rugged, so they're not going to break down in your tackle box and they're gonna hold up pretty well. So that's what I was looking for. I don't need a whole lot because you shouldn't be using uh, a gallon of this stuff. It should be really concentrated in a couple of dobs. A couple of dops will do it. So this is what I got. All right, let's look at how we put together our easy, simple garlic scent. Hey fishing friends, so today we're going to start by adding everything to my blender and we're going to see how this goes. So first and foremost, we need to add a bunch of salt. So we're just going to add, I'll scoop that down so you can see it. All right, so we're going to add a bunch of salt. If you're measuring, you're probably doing it wrong. We're just going to add a bunch of salt. 
One time I measured this and it was right around a half a cup, but you want a lot of salt. Next step, garlic powder. Garlic powder. Again, about a quarter cup of garlic powder. We're not going light on flavor with this. You might want to go a little light with a gelling agent, but we're not going light on flavor with this. And then, of course I didn't open this beforehand. Hashtag preparation. Got it. Think I got it. Three hours later. All right, that'll be enough. Okay, we're ready. So now I'm just gonna add in most, most of the garlic. That is a lot of garlic. I'm just gonna close this back up. So now as you can see, we've got salt, garlic powder, and then just a bunch of minced garlic. That's about it for now. We're gonna put this in the blender and see how it does. All right. Okay, so here we go. We've got our blender. I'm just gonna close the lid. And all right, lock that down. And here we go. All right guys, so now we have some super boiling hot water. This just came out of the microwave. I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow gelatin. I'm gonna put more gelatin than I think because the enzymes in garlic prevent the gelatin from really forming up. So I'm just adding a little bit of gelatin, or a little bit of water, just enough to dissolve our gelatin that nice almost chartreuse color now start using this as a colored dye and it does smell lemony I'll probably drink the rest of this later I'm just just saying so we can already see the gel is starting to set up on the ends and that's good but once we add the garlic to it it's probably not going to do that for much longer all right so ooh, almost knocked that over so let's just get rid of this blade nobody nobody needs that all right, now we're just going to scoop out. I'm just gonna scoop out this uh, mixture into the water. Now, there's not a lot of water and this mixture is basically like a paste. This is almost the texture of toothpaste, but that's because we want it to hold up as we add water to it. It doesn't take almost any water for there to uh, really dilute out that thick texture. So I'm just gonna add the rest of this paste as much as I can get easily. Okay, that'll do it. All right, now we're just gonna stir it up. Okay, we got this almost, almost looks like egg yolk color going on here, which is cool. But whoo, does it smell like garlic? It is strong. All right, as you can see now, we're kinda at this uh, loose cookie batter texture and that's about what we want we want to squeeze this out of the bottle and just right into our baits and we want it to stick together now the gelatin and just a little bit more of that the gelatin will help firm it up just a little bit but not a whole lot again it's not boiling which is really what the the jello directs us to do if you were using actual gelatin it says to use it at lower temperatures and then bring to a boil just to dissolve it. But for whatever reason, Jell-O brand and store brand Jell-O that's pre-mixed says just to add to boiling water. Now this is pretty warm, but not boiling. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sure the sugar doesn't really hurt. I'm sure the fish are just as interested in sugar as a five-year-old. So not really gonna hurt anything by adding more. Screw it, we're just gonna, you know, measuring is for cooks and this is fishing. So, you know, all right, that one last good mix. 
Now I'm gonna grab me a spoon. That's a big spoon. A little spoon. Kind of spoon it on in to this container. If it was more of a liquid, you could pour it, but we really don't want to be uh, pouring this in because then it would just kind of pour out of our baits. So while I'm doing this, this is kind of a tedious task. Go ahead in the comment section below. Let's hear about where you use your favorite scent. Uh, I personally love to use it on craws, but my favorite is the tube bait. I love to stick one of these inside a tube, give it a good squirt, and get some good bait scent inside a tube. This looks like applesauce. Maybe it won't be as bad as if you think of it's like applesauce. Just smells incredibly garlicky. Okay, so we're basically full. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse this off just to get any sort of extra smell. All right, I'm gonna do two more of these and I'll see you on the other side. All right guys, so now I've got three bottles that are full of bait scent. If you want these to last longer, take two of them, put some wax paper around the top and then screw that top on so that way it doesn't leak out. As with any good cooking show, I feel compelled to, at the end, have to taste the product. Um, I am least to say, uh, I am slightly hesitant, but as any committed chef, I must. So, here we go. Oh God. That's fantastic. Okay, no, but seriously, that was literally like the worst thing on the planet. Um, if this video doesn't get uploaded in the next three days, I might actually be dead from salt poisoning. But I think that's what we're actually looking for. Now, I do have some extra. So what I'm going to do is take a mason jar and I'm going to store it in this mason jar. When it's stored properly with uh, after heat treating it, it should store for a couple of weeks. It a couple of weeks, hell, it should store for about six to eight months. Should last a whole season, so I don't have to go through all this again. But if you notice, this only took me about 15, 20 minutes. I actually shot this once, it didn't quite work out, so I shot it again real quick. And it still only took me about an hour to do it both times. So, pretty simple, nice and easy, done. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm finished and just cleaning up my mess. So hopefully you liked that. In the comment section below, go ahead and list where you like using your favorite scent and what your favorite scent is. If I get a few thousand likes on this video, I might make it. So thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for later videos on Chris Does Fish.